Hi guys! Today is day 11 of my 12 days of Christmas nail art and today we're going to be working on this peppermint candy swirl. The colors that I'm using for the water marble are both orly. The white is white tips and I'm actually going to start out with four drops of that. And the red is hot red or hot red if that's how you're supposed to pronounce that. I don't know if that's a tomato tomato type of situation or not but I'm gonna do one drop of the red one drop of the white and follow that with two drops of the red and finishing off with two drops of the white and I did several test swatches before I settled on that combination of drops to use now I'm gonna go with my orange stick and draw up to the top, down to the bottom, then out to each side, and in between each of those. And always with water marbling you want to work pretty quick, but at the same time not too fast, or uh, one thing that tends to happen with red and white is that they bleed together into pink. So just keep your movements kind of steady and should help avoid that. You can see now I'm going back in between each of those strokes toward the center. And I'm trying to keep the sections as even as possible so that the swirls of the candy are also even. And with including a little dip in the center after each stroke, that helps avoid getting a lot of polish built up right there. So I'm going to give one more dip in the middle, just make sure that's very clean since that's going to be kind of our focal point. And then I'm going to start drawing in my spiral. I'm starting on the inside and you can see right away that the candy shape kind of forms. And then just continue spiraling out until you have a big enough shape to dip your nails. So you can of course adjust your cup to make dipping easier, but I'm basically I've got my nail prepped with white. Just going to line it up as best I can and dip in. Then with my orange stick, I'm gonna clean up the excess polish and you don't want that sticking on top of your design, of course. Once the surface is all clear, you can go ahead and slowly pull out your nail. And there is the candy swirl. I went ahead and removed the liquid latex and cleaned up around the edges. And red is a little stubborn, so I'm still going to need to wash my hands after I finish everything and my polish is dry. But before I add a top coat, I'm going to add a layer of China Glaze Fairy Dust. It's a holographic polish. It is not quite as dense of a hollow as Revlon Holographic Pearls. And uh, it's just enough to add some sparkle to this manicure. So here's the finished look and I'm really pleased with how it turned out. A little bit of variation between the nails but that's pretty standard for water marbling. I always have a couple favorite nails and a couple less favorite but the fact that I knew this was coming up I think is why I was able to be so forgiving with myself with the freehand stripes and yeah I'm just really pleased with how this turned out. Just to give you guys a quick glimpse, um, here's a comparison. Not sure how well this will show up on camera, but I had considered a different red. And in fact, this swatch here is the other red with uh, Au Champagne, which is a little bit more of a shimmery white. 
and I think you can kind of see that they blended together into more of a pink. So I picked these two colors not just because they were the most candy cane-ish, but because they stayed white and red in the water instead of turning into pink. So I'm really glad that you guys have been enjoying the series so far. This is the first one I've actually recorded since I started uploading them and so many positive comments. Really flattered. Really glad you guys enjoyed and uh, hope you stay tuned for the final day tomorrow. Hope you guys all have a safe and happy holidays and as always, thanks for watching.